the rosary of the holy wounds of our lord jesus christ revealed by our lord jesus to sister mary martha shambon mary martha shambon was a lay sister of the monastery of the visitation order in chambery france During her life Jesus himself is said to have revealed to her the following two invocations giving her the double mission to adore and invoke the sacred wounds unceasingly and to revive this devotion in the hearts of creatures She died in the order of sanctity on 21st March 1907 and the cause for a beatification was introduced in 1937 let's have a look how to pray the rosary in honor of the holy wounds of our lord jesus christ this chaplet is prayed using an ordinary rosary on the crucifix make the sign of the cross on the first single bead we pray o jesus Divine Redeemer, be merciful to us and to the whole world. On the following three beads pray, God powerful, God holy, God immortal, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Grace, mercy my Jesus during the present dangers, cover us with your precious blood. Eternal Father, grant us mercy. Through the blood of Jesus Christ, your only Son, grant us mercy, we beseech you. On the large beads where we pray the Our Father, we pray the following invocation. Eternal Father, I offer thee the wounds of our Lord Jesus Christ to heal the wounds of our souls. On the ten beads where we pray the Hail Mary, We pray the following invocation. My Jesus, pardon and mercy through the merits of thy holy wounds. We finish the chaplet of wounds by repeating the following invocation three times. Eternal Father, I offer thee the wounds of our Lord Jesus Christ to heal the wounds of our souls. These invocations were taught by our Lord himself to Sister Mary Shambon, humble lay sister at Chambery. Our Lord made the following promises in favor of those who recite this chaplet. Promises of our Lord to Sister Mary Martha Shambon for those who practice this devotion. At each word that you pronounce of the chaplet of the holy wounds, I allow a drop of my blood to fall upon the soul of a sinner. Each time that you offer to my Father the merits of my divine wounds, you win an immense fortune. Souls that will have contemplated and honored my crown of thorns on earth will be my crown of glory in heaven. I will grant all that is asked of me through the invocation of my holy wounds. You will obtain everything because it is through the merit of my blood, which is of infinite price. With my wounds and my divine heart, everything can be obtained. From my wounds proceed fruits of sanctity. As gold purified in the crucible becomes more beautiful, So you must put your soul and those of your companions into my sacred wounds. There they will become perfected as gold in the furnace. You can always purify yourself in my wounds. My wounds will repair yours. My wounds will cover all your faults. Those who honor them will have a true knowledge of Jesus Christ. In meditation on them, you will always find a new love. My wounds will cover all your sins. Plunge your actions into my wounds and they will be of value. All your actions, even the least, soaked in my blood, will acquire by this alone an infinite merit and will please my heart. In offering my wounds for the conversion of sinners, even though the sinners are not converted, 
you will have the same merit before God as if they were. When you have some trouble, something to suffer, quickly place it in my wounds and the pain will be alleviated. This aspiration must often be repeated near the sea. My Jesus, pardon and mercy through the merits of your holy wounds. This prayer, your solace, soul and body. A sinner who will say the following prayer will obtain conversion. Eternal Father, I offer you the wounds of our Lord Jesus Christ to heal the wounds of our souls. There will be no death for the soul that expires in my holy wounds. They give true life. This chaplet is a counterpoise to my justice. It restrains my vengeance. Those who pray with humility and who meditate on my passion will one day participate in the glory of my divine wounds. The more you will have contemplated my painful wounds on this earth, the higher will be your contemplation of them glorious in heaven. The soul who during life has honored the wounds of our Lord Jesus Christ and has offered them to the eternal Father for the souls in purgatory will be accompanied at the moment of death by the Holy Virgin and the angels. And our Lord on the cross, all brilliant in glory, will receive her and crown her. The invocations of the holy wounds will obtain an incessant victory for the church. Promises of our Lord given to St. Gertrude for those who honor his holy wounds. One day, as St. Gertrude was completing her prayers and salutations in honor of the wounds of the Savior, a compassion was rewarded by a vision of our Lord, on whose wounds rested golden roses. Our Lord said to her, Behold, I will appear to you in this refulgent form at the hour of your death, and I will cover all your sins and adorn you with a glory like that with which you have adorned my wounds by your salutations. All who do so shall receive the like favor. Here, let's have a glance at the whole chaplet of the holy bones.